Blame, 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 blame. Special announcement. Um, my camera got really messed up. I'm not too sure what happened. It's something to do with the memory card. And uh, long story short, we were not able to record video. And we did not find out we were not able to record video until halfway through this episode when I realized the first half of the video was completely lost. Um, so unfortunately, um, you will not be seeing our beautiful faces, which is a shame because we have a very, very, very hot special guest join us about halfway through. But you know what? You'll get to hear their voice. And um, oftentimes I find that that's just enough for me. It does the job. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled programming. We'll be back with video next week. 99% uh, chance that is true. Uh, bye. Hello. And welcome to Dragon Ball Speak, episode 82. <clears throat> I'm one of your hosts, Brandon. And no, uh... shit, no. This is a show where we summarize and review every episode of Dragon Ball Z on a scale of one to seven stars. I'm one of your hosts, Brandon. And I'm Wesley. And this is Dragon Ball Speak, episode 82. That was pretty rough, but I've had a long day, and I just watched three episodes of Dragon Ball Z. We've had high highs, low lows, and then high highs, and then some very, very controversial things in between, wouldn't you say? Yes. Yes. Not to mention the fact that there's going to be a little surprise this episode, I suspect, popping in in around 15 minutes, but more importantly than that, thank you to our Patreon Patreon supporters Tywin Owens and Aiden Wable and Brian Kazmala and Rai Pato 1992. Woo! We appreciate you guys more than you will ever know. That's for reals. Yeah, it's true. Now, uh, I say we jump right in because there's a lot of things that I want to talk about that I'm really excited to talk about. Episode 264, Searching for Survivors. No survivors found except Dende, miraculously. And B. And B. <laughs> Gohan has pissed Boo the fuck off. Boo's not happy. Boo's getting his ass kicked, and he's never felt that before in his life. He calls him Boo Boo. He does call him Boo Boo, and that actually gets him the most angry. <laughs> you, do, you do not do that. Um, props to <laughs> Gohan for thinking of that. Somehow, I never even crossed my head. Brain, mind. <laughs> it never crossed my head. <laughs> never crossed my head. Yeah. Um, he... Yeah. No, no, go ahead. Um, I was just going to say, that's awesome. You should make fun of people's... You should make fun of villain names more often. You should make fun of uh, genocidal maniacs more often. Am I right? You're right. I uh, killed him. I <laughs> killed him. He elbows Boo right in the face. Uh, they get some more more fighting. I loved... First off, I'm just going to say it now so I don't have to say it 15 times. The animation in this episode was like one of the best that we have ever seen. And it then was... The next episode is really bad. Yeah. But then the one after that is also very incredible. It's inc it's freaking beautiful. So this one looks great. Um, Boo goes to charge up a blast with his mouth and blasts it in Gohan's face, but Gohan blocks it with his hand and shoves it back down Boo's throat and explodes him. Freaking sweet. It was a nuke. And then it was a nuke. <clears throat> or a no, that wasn't the nuke. Oh, you're right. Yeah. That was just a uh, that was just uh, made the steam come out of him. And then he elbowed him in, the, him in the back of the neck a bunch of times, and like the steam was coming out, and he was like. Do you think it's what do you do you think it smells? We've gone over the smell before. We, it's weird that every time we mention the the gas or the steam, it's weird that the smell like pops into both of our heads. It's because I want to smell it. Well, okay, you said pork, I said gum. I think so, yeah. I just I feel like it'd be good like I, for something so terrible, I feel like it might smell good. I don't know. I mean, it actually realistically probably smells like fart. So, um, no, I think it realistically, realistically, it's probably steam, which is mostly odorless, unless you're a vapor. Unless you're a, a vapor, which unless is you're a vape god, a sick, that's, that means he's sick as fuck. <laughs> so, uh, if you are a vape god, I would just like to let you know you're not supposed to vape around electronics. I don't get it. Oh, you that's just, actually, actually legitimate yeah, advice. It is water vapor well, well also the resin stuff. or not resin whatever yeah it's resin the resin sticks to like the electronics and it can um jack them up imagine losing your ps5 because you vaped on it yeah 
I thought you. <laughs> I fight jacked yeah. up. I fight jacked up beasts now. What was that for spoken? Uh, for spoken, yeah. I fight jacked up beasts. Whoa, where am I? <laughs> oh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Uh, have you watched all this uh, new Velma show and trailers and stuff? Mm-mm. I don't even know what you're referring to. It's a like Velma a new show. Or? Um, it's a Velma show. Yeah, and it's Mindy Kaling. Oh, interesting. That kind of sucks. They should just always do the cast that they have because it's perfect. Well, it's like a new spin. Okay. Um, it's a mature show. Oh, like rated R? Yeah. No Scooby Doo in it. It's just everyone but Scooby Doo. Okay, so that's weird. Is they it animated? Said it's, or yeah, it's animated, okay. and they said it's because Scooby Doo like can't be in a show for adults. I don't Why? really. I don't know. Hmm. That's kind of. Uh, what is the show called? Like Velma. Oh. <laughs> anyway it's like super meta humorous so the trailer i watched she was like dear hbo max and she was uh, like yeah it's uh it people like that meta good. humor no people are do- like trashing this actually no oh. yeah well there you go don't you know don't get rid of scoob and you won't get a doob <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh so yeah he ate his own blast uh gohan's elbowing him in the back of the neck and then boo reveals uh, all of a sudden that this whole time that he was fighting Gotenks, he knew Gohan was coming and was mentally preparing for it. AKA meaning Piccolo surmises that his fight with Gotenks was more or less just a warm up and just kind of like he was waiting on Gohan. Uh, do you think that's true? No, it's not. I true. also think, I also think that because I think that when I just don't think that's true. Yeah. I don't think Boo's lying. I just think the, I just think that was written and like, it's just, yeah, it was written. doesn't make sense. Um, <clears throat> So he all of a sudden he's he's uh he starts charging up and he's screaming and there's lightning and he looks really cool. Um it's really nice that he looks cool in this episode because he looks so not cool in the mm-hmm. next episode because it was animated. I'm talking about like the animation was as bad in two sixty five that like it was as bad as like the really bad Namek episodes. It makes um Boo look like Patrick in those scenes of SpongeBob where it's shot from like below him and he's looking down like evil. Like uh... The decision, well, let me just jump ahead. The decision to not give his new form a chin yeah. is an interesting decision. He looks like a um, like a weird earthworm. Earthworm Jim, kind of. But Earthworm Jim has a chin, I think. Um, Here's the thing about Earthworm, earthworm Jim. <laughs> I never played it. Me either. Is it a platform? I don't know. It doesn't look, if it is one, it doesn't look like a good one. Sick burn. Um, Boo goes nuclear and becomes Boo. He books the town. He goes, <laughs> Dude, that he is... goes Boo clear. He's... Who was the primary victim of this? Of Book? Yeah. Um, nobody. Really. No. Mr. Satan finally found a bar that wasn't destroyed. Mm. Him and B. And he, and he gets him a big draft. He gets him a tall boy. <laughs> uh, it's probably local. It's probably an IPA. But yeah, it's definitely nice. And, and he's so thirsty, dude. You wouldn't believe he's like about to die of thirst. So and thirsty. The book, um, the book destroys it. Makes the uh, beer disappear. And he's like, "Holy <laughs> crap!" He's still destroying stuff. That's what he says. He says, "Holy crap!" Just kidding. He didn't say that. Um, then so while so after Boo does the book, um, uh, Gohan sees the writing on the wall. He sees that he's about to explode. So he grabs everyone, and then they fly away. And then Boo's just kind of like gone for a while. And they're like, "We don't really know why," but he's. Yeah, He's the show tried to like, fake us out. The show's like, oh, we can go back to just searching for the Dragon Balls to save our buddies. Boo's don't, don't got to worry about him right now. I knew that Boo was coming back. At the very least, they didn't bother pretending that he was actually dead. Yeah, that is true. Which, that would have been really annoying. Um, So, then Piccolo asks Gohan. Uh, they, we get a really cool shot of the four of them standing up on the cliff. Um, They discuss a couple things. <laughs> Piccolo asks Gohan how he got so strong so fast. What I didn't get... This was right before the uh, eye catcher, the old commercial break. And they just kind of like looked at each other and smiled mm-hmm. for a little while. And then it cut. And I was like, is there, is there, um, is there like an implied answer? Like when there's, he's, there's he, one, there's something that two men like that together know. They both know <laughs> you can do this to get stronger. And it didn't need to be stated out loud. Um, Piccolo has done it. <laughs> Uh, Gohan has done it. They both understood. 
Yeah, Piccolo looks at him and he's just like, oh, you know, he did the old Elder Kai <laughs> technique. I knew it. I knew it, you son of a bitch. And uh, so anyway, he then after the commercial break, he actually answers the question. They kind of like go over the whole history. And then um, I, I didn't get if this was like a joke, but um, Piccolo said that he left the dragon radar in his other pants. He hasn't changed pants. Is that his tongue in cheek way of saying that he doesn't like he lost it? No, I think that was just um, the writers were like, like he like they're in his other pants. Yeah. Well, the lookouts destroyed. Which That's... they all know, though, like he doesn't need to lie about losing the dragon radar. If he lost it, they'd be like, that's understandable. We all almost died. Yeah, but like, where is it? Then his other pants. Where's his pants? <laughs> Where's his pants? The lookout's gone. There's no lookout. Who knows? Who the, knows? He stays at the lookout, right? Like, that's his home? Uh, It's never really. Mm. We don't really know. Fair enough. Um, I can't wait to get to the big part that I want to get to. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> excited, dude. I can't even focus because... uh, I can't focus because of lack of sleep. I'll just say it. I've been working my cheeks off. I've been big chilling today. Um, literally just played a game for like seven hours straight. And I didn't say like a word. Here's the more important thing I want to talk about. Last night, I played Pikmin 3 Deluxe until 1.30 a.m. Uh, anyone who knows me who has any who has followed me on anything ever knows that I'm... I will say I'm probably top 10 Pikmin fans in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, when Pikmin 4 was announced... It's not only now my most anticipated game of all time, but I don't think anyone truly understands like <laughs> what that meant. Like what? No one know. No one gets what it means yeah. that Pikmin Four was announced. They're like, oh no way, that's so hype. No, you don't understand what it means. Anyway, all this to say, my ranking of the three Pikmin games are two is my favorite. Controversial take. Three Deluxe is my second favorite, and then one is my least favorite, but I still love it. Actually, I'm, it might be one and then three. Well, how do you? How would you rank the first, the the first one and the third one? Which one three do you like? And then one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, three's just you know quality of life, more modern, prettier. <laughs> yeah, but one's more stressful. One is a lot more stressful, like way more stressful. Um. And especially the final level, if you have not adequately prepared for it, you can just either tough it out and somehow beat it, or you can. You just don't get to. You don't get to beat the game. Nintendo doesn't give you like a way to remedy your issue. But nonetheless, I beat that game with like 60 Pikmin. Wesley did not ever <laughs> bolster any of his numbers. Yes. Ever. We were speed It was running. kind of like making my eyes like explode. We were speed running. I wasn't he min was maxing. Speed I don't like to min max games. He was speed running in the same way that he only had one day left in game to finish the game. Yeah. In the last level with only like 60 Pikmin. And if anyone who has played that game knows that that is a, that's a lot to ask. Normally, it's like a two-day thing your first time. You have like 150 of each type of Pikmin, if not more. That no. seems a lot easier. I had to literally speed run the final level and you, boss. You, how many times do you think? Oh, probably. At least seven. S- oh, more than that. I was going to say 20, 30, easy. 20? The morning, the next morning, or no, not the next morning, that night, no, how many nights did we do? Because the next morning I beat it in like the second or third try, and it was annoying. That night we probably watched you attempt it six or seven times, so okay. it's probably ten total. So, ten total. Which probably is a felt lot. like twenty or thirty because of the. Uh, th- that is a story I'll tell another day. It's a legend. Uh, it's a legendary tale. It was called Picks a Night. Picks a Night. The legend of Picks a Night. Anyway, uh, that's just something. Uh, that's just a me and Wesley thing. Back to a Dragon Ball Speak thing. Woo! Uh, turns out Dende is alive. They can sense him, and as they're flying to go get him this feels so cool to me like this sequence was so was so fun for me because um like they're flying and they're like looking for survivors per the title and searching for survivors excuse me searching and then um like they're just like kind of talking and like it feels very like end gamey like the earth is barren they find someone they're like what is that that's a guy and well, a dog hold on you're forgetting about the part where piccolo crop dusts <laughs> oh the bo yeah i think that was next episode no i wrote it for this one. Oh, did you yeah so they're, go ahead and give go, it to Gohan me. and Trunks are flying, or Goten and Trunks are flying behind Piccolo, and they're like, "Ooh, something stinks!" And then they think it's Piccolo. Might have been Bo, but uh, Piccolo also might have just straight up shitted on him. Um, yeah. One second. Hey Ryan, you're live on Dragon Ball Speak. Hi. Hi. What's up? Nothing. Are you coming here? Why are you taking so long to answer me? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm a call off guard, I guess. I just don't know. I'm so much pressure. So much pressure. I don't know what to say. 
Well, we can't. We're not gonna cut any of it out, so don't say anything uh, stupid. I Give- want to apologize that I interrupted the flow, and that I am not myself more eloquent than I am being right now. That is not. Um, there was not much flow to interrupt. I'm uh, fighting. I'm fighting for my life today. Anyway, see you when you get here. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Ryan. He's uh, he's coming. He's going to pop in, and I'm going to ask him a very big question, so just wait. Uh, <laughs> he's going he's gonna to later, he's going to be like, I just wish I would have known, so I would have like known what to say. It's like, well, you called us, Ryan. That's on you. I, he knew we were recording, and he was doing really big pauses in between. I, every, I, I, I thought he couldn't hear me or something. No, I respected he was gauging his answer. You know, he's taking his time to... Make sure it's an answer he wants live and recorded on air forever. Yeah, true. So Piccolo is stinky confirmed. Um, and then they find the man and the dog, which I love. And they scoop down and pick him up. And they're like, holy crap, how are you still alive? Because Piccolo is bought into the stupid Mr. Satan conspiracy that he's done a lot of bad things and lied about his fame and fortune and how he got it and blah, blah, blah. But he has a good heart. Piccolo, you were supposed to be one of the good ones. No good heart. Piccolo is wrong. Hashtag Piccolo is wrong. Leave him, leave him to die hashtag um yeah well not leave him to die i don't think he would die he just gets to continue going through his desert life trying to survive that's on him uh um, he's so big and tough i can't mr satan just get out of the situation huh i loved how piccolo was like yeah he's obviously like a showboater and he's like very stupid but also he's a good dude deep down he's been keeping an eye on him lately he's been keeping tabs on him the old satan was he's a satan a hater but he made me laugh a lot of times in these three episodes satan yeah um, he's like oh uh, well no not me actually the thing you showed me before we started made me laugh <laughs> i happened i happened to show wesley the old funimation leaks uh that happened a while ago today and it was awesome yeah mr satan confirmed something we had <laughs> unfortunately predicted episodes ago long time long ago. long ago we predicted uh so go ahead and look up those if you want to um if yeah. you want to know what we're talking about uh, huge cock. It's, a, it's the way they confirmed that they confirmed that he has one. So they pick up the man and his dog, and everyone's like, "Wow!" And it feels all end gamey. And then they go land, and the animation is perfect. And then they and then they find Dende, and they're like, "Holy crap! It's Dende! That means we still have Dragon Balls." Well, we don't have the Dragon Radar there in my other pants. We'll figure that problem out later. So then we're like, "How is Dende alive? We didn't see him alive." Well, turns de- out Mister Popo. Determine what you will of this, mm. retcon or no. Um, no, we just didn't see it happen, so. Okay, okay. I, I, it is a little, it's a little silly, but to their credit, we did not see what happened in the final moments of Dende's life. Not only that, but uh, we were hinted in a few episodes ago that Dende was still alive. Yeah. I think Gohan said something about it. Uh, Mr. Popo threw him off before uh, Boo blew up the tower, and Dende survived the fall. Mr. Satan's reaction to his daughter being dead is very sad. He's like, why didn't you protect him to go on? And then Goten's like, we'll bring him back. And there, and then he's like, how? And then Goten's a stupid kid, so he's just like not saying anything. Why didn't you protect her, Mr. Satan? You weren't there. The world needed you, and you weren't there. And uh, Satan and B are sad because they're talking about Boo, and they're just like, we tried. He's our, he's our friend, and what's going on? And then the episode ends. I give this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. There's a big development right at the end. What was that? Boo's back. Is that at the end of this one? Yeah, yeah. you're right. Boo's back. back and he challenges. Um, oh, that was this one. Go okay. Tanks. Or, yeah. yeah, he chal- he, Yeah, he go- yeah he comes back and he's like uh, wanting to pick a fight with Go Tanks for some reason. Oh right, and, and then, then he's, he's got- like trying to bypass Gohan, and Gohan's like, uh, "What's going on here?" And then I told you to write your theory. Yeah. So Boo had uh, these little things on his back going crazy, like little squares of skin. <laughs> my prediction was that boo was going to split into three and be big boo the first boo evil boo and buff boo who is now or a weaker version of buff boo because he would be losing the other two boos within him um i was wrong interesting that was a, that's solid i definitely would not have predicted what um happens let's talk about that in a moment first i truly and seriously gave that one a seven out of seven for the animation that's fair well, actually, kind of everything. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought the I thought it was a really entertaining episode plot wise. I thought the writing was good. I thought the animation was good. I thought it was heartfelt. There was some really really good action in the beginning. I kind of just loved the whole episode. I give it a four. It's felt by the books for me, but I think um, 
part of it is like the boo saga really has to wow me to get it to get that's fair to those higher numbers yeah it's not it's not the same seven as like my other sevens but today yeah. it was a seven so you know i'm not gonna argue with myself no, you don't need to don't I'm, argue with yourself i'm mister. not gonna argue with myself <laughs> i just want to play minecraft <laughs> i just want to play minecraft with my friends <laughs> uh episode 265 majin Buu transforms deception uh yeah piccolo is like hold on guys i sense decep i can sense deception i sense it I sense deception. And then, uh, yeah, so Goten and Trunks get all worked up because they keep getting challenged and blah, 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 blah. So they end up fusing Super Saiyan 3. Bad animation. Boo has just a completely different personality now that he's back. Almost sounds like a different person, in my opinion. Well, he does in a moment. He actually sounds like a different person after he does what he's about to do. He kind of started that at the beginning. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't notice, but it turns out he wants the power of Gotenks and the mind of Piccolo. Did you, when he said that, were you like, oh, like a fusion type absorption type yeah, thing? Yeah, I was like, oh, that makes sense. He's going to just suck him up. So if you think about it, that's kind of what Cell did. Oh, I, I have a laundry list of problems. Okay, let's these next let, two episodes. I'm going to let you take the reins for now. Um, uh, Boo absorbs Gotenks and Piccolo, and he has a new form where he's basically just wearing Gotenks' outfit and has a much longer... Uh, head wiener and, and he has a nose yeah he has a nose now i said new boo is the best one yet design wise for the form fit check but really I'm, I'm still not the biggest fan at all i am shocked i think this one looks so much worse than the last form really i hate the last form a lot in last episode it looked freaking badass he was all like juiced up and like angry looking and he the looks pink cool lightning. sometimes but like he's just so I love the gooiness. I just don't imagine he's got a thought going on. You know, like eyes. oddly satisfying on Snapchat. Do I know what it is? What? Yeah. Like oddly satisfying. What about it? Like, do you know what I'm talking about? Like oh, oddly no. satisfying oh, no. or like on YouTube. Mm -mm. Oddly satisfying. No, it's like, is this like a channel or something. No, there's like multiple channels, but like, it's like whenever they I like, think I'm subscribed to a subreddit. That's uh, oddly satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. When they like crunch like little textures and it sounds nice or oh, when yeah, they like do like, the slime and yeah, the slime yeah, yeah. is really crunchy and cool looking and like, or, um, I really like the hydraulic press ones. Yeah, I do. I do follow on Instagram. Just okay. For that. So now you feel me. Now you understand where I'm at. I think that boo is like oddly satisfying in the sense that like, I just want to like be like one of those Snapchat channels and just like, you do have you had a thing for Boo's texture. I do. I want to pinch him and saga. chew him. I just want to touch the Yaba. Yaba. I don't want to shout out if you know what that is because it's one of the greatest videos ever made. They're they're too young for that. No, ain't no one. No one was around when that came out <laughs> in twenty. Well, it was like twenty fifteen or twenty sixteen. Um. Yeah. Fifteen. I think. It was Give 15. me a hint. Rogue One. Rogue One. Put in the comments. Link to the video in the comments if you know what we're talking about. Rogue One, uh, by the way, the best Star Wars movie that has come out since Disney. Wrong. You're wrong. I don't, I'm not going to talk Star don't Wars. Talk, don't talk about this. <laughs> anyway, keep going. <clears throat> Boo has fused, basically. We're just going to kind of go through the rest of the episode. Because it's really just go him and Gohan talking and kind of going over the parameters now. So um, you, did, you did predict like a ass pull. Of like yeah. Boo getting stronger yeah, somehow. Something. Um, yes. And uh, this is it. He's has a fusion, and like the other fusions, he has a 30 minute limit. Um, a little scary. I'm getting um, Namek flashbacks, and I'm like, all right, that was five minutes. What are they going to do with 30? I want to clarify something real quick. He he doesn't have a 30 minute limit. The fusion that he absorbed has a 30 minute limit. Oh. So like theoretically, in 30 minutes, Goten and Go Trunks will still be, be absorbed. Oh, but they just him. won't be fused, so he won't be like as strong. Fair enough. Regardless, a thirty-minute timer. Yeah, I don't, I don't. You don't want to hear X minutes in Dragon Ball Z. You don't want to hear twenty hours either. Yeah, you definitely don't want that. Um. So yeah, they kind of just talk. They don't really start fighting until the next episode. So it's they're just kind of going over the specifics. You're getting a taste of this new uh, Boo. He's much cockier, much more confident. You sense that he's a lot stronger. Um. For me, Boo's fusion form makes Gohan's new strength journey pointless because he did all that to come to earth and beat boo and then they just make boo as strong as gohan which kind of makes the whole entirety of this arc so far really kind of pointless and more annoying i would like to double down on what you just said every single thing that has happened in this arc has been pointless yeah like everything 
and then, everything and it gets worse next episode i was about to say we have epi- like some episodes that or the next episode like completely invalidates the entirety of gohan's growth in this arc well specifically when he's with um old kai and stuff it doesn't just invalidate it it like shits on it yeah like a big old steamer it again feels very much like you got to go a little longer. And he's like, all right, I'll just, um, I've got an idea. Let's roll with it. And they just roll with it. I'm like, oh, we were going to, fu- we were going to kill Boo with um, Gohan and the show was going to be over and Gohan was going to be the new, you know, Goku of the earth. Um, and he'll train Gotenks and all that. And they were like, no, no. They said like five episodes ago, they said like the people of earth shouldn't be relying, be relying on dead people to come from the heavens. Yeah, no, they shouldn't. They said that literally I mean, the last time we recorded is when we talked about it. Well, they're not going to go back and look at what they just did. Like, why would they do that? Why would you do that as a storyteller? The future is now. Tomorrow needs you. Full steam ahead. You've heard of the cart trolley problem. Don't switch the tracks. Just run over everyone. What is it called? The trolley problem? Yeah, paradox or something like that. Yeah. No, it is a trolley problem. Yeah. Kill them all. What is it? Like it's a doctor on one side or just a bunch of like non- No, no, no doctor. It's just the trolley is going to hit like 10 people in a row. Or you can redirect it to hit one person that's tied up on this side of the track. So, like, you're saving 10 people if you redirect, but you're murdering that person versus, like, allowing it to just take its course and kill the 10 people. Like, which one's, like, what, do you, what is the best option? I say shoot them. I'm scared of death, so I hope that if I'm ever on track, somebody finds a way to not let me die. At least it would be instant. Anyway. Mm, it, wouldn't be at, it wouldn't be instant enough, I think. Oh, I'm... I promise you. Mm. Let's test it. <laughs> it would be as instant as instant gets. Uh, that's a little dark for us, but that's okay. Let's uh, <laughs> let's let's just do that. Uh, we need to. You want to just pause? Oh yeah. You sometimes people are like, oh, why would they cut there? Sometimes we didn't cut anything. It's just uh, this camera records for thirty minutes, so you're about to experience that right now. Majin Buu transforms. Gets a four out of seven for me. Three out of seven for me. Uh, we did skip over. Like, they do fight a little bit. Uh, there's, like, a beam clash, and then oh, Gohan's, right. like, starting to lose. We hear the 30-minute time limit because of Gotenks. And then uh, we get the callback to the Goku versus Vegeta pose. Do you know why? Well, yeah. Why? Because yeah, boo. <gasps> Everyone, now that the camera's working, it's or not, is it not? No, the camera's not. camera's not working today, but here's my brother, Ryan. Hello, everybody. Howdy. What do you think of Boo's um, form after fusing fusing with um, Gotenks and Piccolo? Well, how far in the episode are we? We're okay. Boo has absorbed Gotenks and Piccolo, and Gohan has more or less been defeated. I think it's actually pretty sick. Actually, I think it's his best form as far as fit goes. Really? I yeah. agreed with that. Great minds. Um, that's funny. I thought he looked cooler the last episode. But Ryan, we have some big things to talk about. For one. Can we stick to the form for a second, just to kind of counter what you just said? Go ahead. Uh, So one thing I do appreciate, they did a really good job, I feel like. The previous form definitely looked brutish. Yes. But with with Gogeta, with... um, Gotenks. Thank you, Gotenks. I don't know, I just, I like it. I like it. That's all I got. I don't like that he has a nose, Piccolo's nose. I like that he has a long wiener on his head. It does get longer, I don't know why. (laughs) It gets like significantly longer it's just you can tell like there's just a significant difference in his the face difference is just a little bit more intelligent i feel like oh he yeah. talks more intelligent too. That, yeah, absolutely yeah. i think that he was doing a little bit of a cell impression yeah i got that who i meant to look who the voice actor is is it the same I one i don't remember i don't know um it's uh yeah you can tell he's got more confidence but i um it's i agree with ryan it is the best fit but it's i still doesn't redeem boo at all so I gave it a three out of seven, and now we get to talk about what I think is the most uh, important aspect of these three episodes, and I'm very excited. The old Kai's weapon. Why don't you just leave it down, Ryan? Just make sure you lean in really close when you talk. Um, the old Kai's weapon. I don't think you ever would have guessed what the old Kai's weapon was, but I want to... Oh, first off, I want to address uh, the, the camera's not working today because uh, we don't know why. It's like a memory card issue, and we're sorry. And we also didn't know that until two minutes ago, so that's why we didn't address it before now. Technical <laughs> difficulties are part of our brand. Anyway... Brand on. That's me. Wesley Dracula Blanc. That's me. I'm Ryan. It's just Ryan. It's just Ryan. Okay. I can just take the mic when I need to talk. Okay. I can't read his mind. 
Well, just keep it in the middle of you two, and then just one of you, you both lean in either way. Nah, we'll pick up on that. I just want to address the elephant in the room. This episode, <laughs> while Gohan is losing, we get a reveal that Goku is coming back to life and coming back to Earth, and Vegeta is coming back to life and coming back to Earth. Out of nowhere, yeah, the entire arc gets completely turned upside down and basically turns out to be a massive waste of time in many ways because all of a sudden, the two people that we said goodbye to, especially Vegeta, are uh, they're just back now. There's not really much explanation other than, you know, you get the simple explanation um, and they're back. Well, no, you forgot. We've always known that old Kai can zip his life into um, Goku and bring him back. And we've always known that going to hell and heaven doesn't matter if the goat guy. We were told Vegeta was losing his body permanently and was like, yeah, there was no chance of redemption. But God said, it's I need you. I need a soldier on the field. Ryan. But to be fair, when it, he was asked what would happen to it, well, he was asked, Vegeta, Vegeta asked what would happen to my body. And he was told, well, you probably wouldn't get to keep it because you were a pretty bad dude. To be fair, you could argue he tried to redeem himself. You know what I'm saying? So we don't know exactly what happened in that conversation in the afterlife <clears> to say <throat> whether or not he gets to keep his body or not. I sense that we're totally going to get to find out what Vegeta did. <laughs> to get his body back. Oh, you're right. They're going to give it a full explanation. So Kai gave Goku the rest of his life force or lifetime or however you want to interpret it, which to me, they they live for thousands of years. Does that mean Goku has thousands of years of natural life left now? You're asking way too many questions. Like literally thousands? Again, too many questions. Millennia. <laughs> and Vegeta, he does have the uh, he does have the halo over his head. But for all intents and purposes, is being revived as well. It's Fortune Teller Baba doing it. Do we know if it's the 24-hour th- limit thing? Again. Do we know if it's just... You're asking, this is too much to ask of this arc. And then we get... A, first off, this episode looked amazing. I yeah. like when he had Gohan in the chicken wing in the beginning. He had the arm behind the back. And... Um, yeah, the fight is over. The fight the fight itself in 266 is very good. Um, yes. It's mostly Gohan just getting destroyed. But Wrecked like shit on. He does a ghost kamikaze, but it was cool. He does a special beam cannon on him, and it does damage. I love when energy blasts do damage because they so often don't do anything. It's fun. I'm having enjoyment with some of Boo for the first time in a minute, and that is whenever he does a move, and he's like, who, I think that was Piccolo. And it's funny because Gohan is like, yeah, that was Piccolo, and it sucks. <laughs> yeah. And um, and he was going to kill Satan and B, which is pretty. Uh, that's to me, that's surprising because you you know you, they could be like the he's still in there. And... Anyway, so we have, in my opinion, this is the biggest ass pull in the entire series, basically. Vegeta and uh, Goku coming back. Yeah, yeah. We've been told um, time and time again, basically, that they like they're gone. Like first off, Goku was gone at the end of the cell arc. Then he comes back, and then he's gone for reals this time, and then he's on the Supreme Guy's planet with Gohan, but now it's like, they had a heartfelt goodbye, because it was the last time he was ever going to see his dad. Vegeta, we were explicitly told, he, his sacrifice, it didn't work, but it meant something, because he ended his life permanently to um, to try to save the world, which is very un, unlike the old Vegeta. So I also appreciate that even the Kai's sacrifice was it really a sacrifice? I mean, yep, here's my life, and dead, and no, I'm back. <laughs> I did think that was funny. They even they make a joke out of it, and they were like talking. Yeah, Supreme Kai's like, no, it should be me that does it. I should be the one. It's like it doesn't actually matter. Well, I think the only one who knew that it didn't actually matter was the elder one. Fair enough. But either way, um, and then we get another bomb drop. Mister Satan is packing heat. Yeah, he's got the sticky. He has a Glock. Yeah. He got the blicky. Did yeah. you call it the sticky? I said Mr. Satan with the sticky, maybe even the blicky. He do- oh, he's got the blicky. <laughs> he's got a Glock on him this whole time. Anyway, I mean, it's like you could have saved the world all this time. I'm not convinced these heroes can tank bullets. We've never seen them get shot. I guess Boo has been shot a lot of times. We have shot. We have seen all of them get shot. <laughs> but not with, not with the Glock. <laughs> You're right. Not with Satan's patented Satan super yeah. delayed punch Glock. You think if he shoots them, then they have to wait a few seconds and then they get shot? Yeah, well, Glocks, um, mis- if I'm not mistaken, Glocks, they're they're called that because of the way their bullet like goes into the body. Um, I think it like expands or something once in the body, making it harder to get out and uh, something like that. 
not really sure please if that's please apologize to all, to all the gun enthusiasts that oh. are listening. that would rely on ammo type first of all no the glock the Gl- i know for a fact the glock does something different when it uh how it, it goes bullet glock-em. no i will i'll look it up i know this it goes glock em. i know this because well hurry up because i want another go over another actual legitimate bomb go over it it turns out there's another <laughs> out of nowhere <laughs> it turns out that there is another kind of fusion Yes. Out of absolutely nowhere, Goku's just talking to them, and he's like, all right, I'm going to go. And they're like, wait, why are you going when you couldn't beat Boo the first time? You definitely still can't beat him now. No offense. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's a good point. And he's like, oh, I have an idea. I'll fuse with Gohan. Not a bad idea. But they don't know the fusion dance, and so Boo's not going to stand by while they learn the fusion dance. Are you with me, Wesley? Yes. Are you glocking him? Glocking him. And, um, Glockenspiel. And he's just like, oh, well, guess what? Why don't you just use these earrings? Stupid. So, 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 so stupid. It turns out this whole time, their earrings just so happen to have the ability to also fuse people. But better. It's, it's it, uh, again, more of just come up with whatever you can and put it on paper. It is better. Not only not only because you can't screw it up. Well, that's all we really know right now. But it's just, these are the Patara earrings, by the way. There's Metamoran fusion and there's Patara fusion. Metamore infusion? Yeah. That's the dance. Mm. And this is Taro fusion? Taro, yeah, Boba. Boba. Extra Boba tapioca, Taro. please. Oh, Pataro. That'll Pataro. be 675. No, it's Patara. Patara. <clears throat> Stupid. I am tired of this arc. I hate it. Um, I'm worried this arc does permanent damage to my overall view of Dragon Ball Z. It's got to redeem itself, and I hope it does. Well, the fact that the, there's still a fan base, what is, I mean, what does that tell you? That the cell arc is just really, really good. It's the least popular arc in Japan. What their favorite is Frieza? Yeah, that's fine. Frieza, Sorry. Frieza's by far the most popular villain Who's, worldwide. Where is Boo most popular? I don't know. I think like probably the UK. They seem like they would love Boo over there. Why? Because he's bland. <laughs> yeah, I like your food. Yeah, that I've never had. And he's a colonizer. You sons of bitches. And I like fish and chips with vinegar. That's the only good meal you have. Do you even eat tartar sauce, or is that an American thing? Ever had a lobster roll from Maine? I haven't. I haven't either, but I've had one at Epcot Disney World. <laughs> Which is basically Maine. Yeah, and it's good. It's real good. It's eleven. It's like $11. Just kidding to our UK listeners. Also to our gun enthusiast listeners. I doubt we have any. Maybe we do. Who knows? You know, um, I read an article, and um, I was getting too, uh, like I wasn't able to keep up with the show, so I stopped looking. So drop a comment. He sacrificed his his pride for quality. It's true. He's just like um, Brandon was testing me. He said, "Are you glocking this?" And I said, "Yes," but I actually wasn't. I know. <laughs> so so, what do you really feel about the this Patara fusion, the earrings? Do you think that it's so? First off, who's gonna fuse? Second off, is it is it? I mean, like, what do you what is your general feelings? Um, other than it being an obvious like, I think it's as, really not another aspect. Yeah, I just think it's stupid. Um, feels unnecessary, but I guess um, I think Goku and Gohan are going to fuse because they are not the same power level. What's their level. name? Wait, you think they're not going to or you, they are going to? I think they are going to, and I think the reason they had to come up with the earring thing is because they wouldn't be able to do a fusion dance uh, because they yes. can't match their power levels. I don't think that's the problem. That The problem is they don't know the fusion dance. That too. Well, Goku does apparently. True, and but we, Gohan doesn't know it and they'd have to you practice. Don't you don't know that. They'd have to practice. We didn't know Goku knew it. You're right, go on. You're right. They they would. Honestly, it would be less of an ass pull if they just if Goku beamed down to Earth and they were just like, Oh yeah, father, I know it too. I remember when you taught me years ago. Yeah. Um, and their name will be Gohan. Why not? Wow, isn't that, that's a combination of Goku and Gohan. <laughs> yes. It's a great combo. As I want to point it out in case you couldn't hear that. It's actually going to be Gogokan. Gogokan or Gokanku. Go hung. Go, <laughs> go, go hung. <laughs> that see that would be the most apt description. That would be if uh, Goku fused with Mister Satan. True. Go hung. <laughs> um, I not- I I just assume that yeah I just I don't know why they'd come up with another fusion. I guess because fans would be like, well they don't know the fusion dance, but I don't know. I think fans are questioning everything going on in this arc. Ryan, can I get a general um, 
we haven't seen much, but can I get a general thoughts and feelings on Patara Fusion? I like my own opinion? Yeah. Well, I not the fusion it, itself, it, just the fact that they are out of nowhere like, oh yeah, these earrings can also fuse you. Oh yeah, no, it's absolutely just close it, like closing a uh, gap to further the plot on. It's insane. It on, it's, dragging it on. He's literally like, "All right, I'll just revive Goku." Uh, sure, send Vegeta. Yeah, Gohan, Gohan's there. Um, oh, wait. None of them are individually strong enough to be this guy. Yeah. Oh, wait. I have fusion. Oh, wait. They don't know the dance. Oh, wait. Maybe these earrings that I drew, luckily, <laughs> will have a purpose. I'm trying to keep it, li- keeping it limited to what we know. So it definitely, I feel like it gets worse for sure. So I would like to talk about something. And I, wanna, I want your guys' general opinions. Me and Wesley have brushed on this. We have... Now, at this point, up to this point, we have Vegeta sacrif- we have Majin Vegeta, Vegeta sacrifice, Super Saiyan 3, uh Fusion thus far, and then Ultimate Gohan thus far, and I think I'm not missing anything. Six different things that did not pay off, but they still used up a lot of our time. Yeah. And all became lamer as a result because they didn't do anything. Yeah, they just um, yeah, uh, uh the boost fusion em, com, em, em. Com, <laughs> makes em. uh Gohan's like growth and all his stuff on Planet Z and stuff uh irrelevant and stupid. Is that what it's called? That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> Planet Z. Planet Z, and um, and then Goku and Vegeta coming back on top of that. Yeah, it really does make this whole arc feel pointless. The, and I on, just can't... by default, I just I don't under like this arc sucks. There's nothing redeeming about it at this point other than individual scenes but overall nothing's redeeming because everything is just canceling what happened before it it's just crazy to me it's cr- five episodes ago they said that goku would never come back ever like this is the last time you'll ever see me gohan and then some editor was like hey ratings are going down goku's coming back and especially vegeta's coming back and so like just bring him back i don't care how you do it and um just yeah, I guess there's no and. That's just pretty much it. It's just shocking. Like, how can you sacrifice your entire narrative for the sake of, like... It's not even really fan service. It's just, like... It's just shitting on your own work. But, but the merch that we sold, though. Oh. Oh. That is probably the real reason why they're back. They literally just cut to Vegeta. We're like... we're like, I, I forgot this is how it happened. We're, like, cutting to King Yama, and we're like, this is weird. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to bring someone back. I thought he was, like, justifying... I thought he was working with the Kai's that's, or something for to some justify reason, Goku's existence For some back. reason, that's what I thought as well. And then, nope, you just pan up, and it's all they Vegeta. thought it was they, they thought it was such a cool moment, too. The I way know. they do it, they pan up. You see his white boots step into frame, and they thought I was going to be like, oh, my God, let's go. And it was actually just like... What? Really? Well, well, I wonder if it has anything to do with the air dates, right? So I'm wondering how long in between, how, like real time, how much time has passed between last time we saw Vegeta? Oh, years yeah. probably. I don't know. We we last years? saw him like 50 episodes ago. They're weekly episodes, but obviously That's not it. every not every week though. Like they, they didn't put out. An has episode. it been gone that long? I guess so. Yeah. It's been quite quite some time. Broly second coming. That's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, Z Sword Vegeta's Pride. I think is when he sacri. Yeah. Oh uh, no, that's a long way to rematch, and then um, the losses begin. No, it's called. Uh, I think it's called his um, Warriors' decision. Final atonement. Two thirty-seven. Right. Sorry, I guess it's only been thirty episodes, but still thirty yeah. minimum thirty weeks, which is how many months? Minimum like eight months at, yeah. at minimum. If they didn't take any breaks, that's pretty. That's quite a while for your most your second most popular character to not be on screen. But when you kill a character, yeah, a few times, it's uh, it, coming back thirty <laughs> weeks later is not. Uh, I don't know, like even, even I don't think I would like that if that happened back in the day. Like if I watched it weekly. Either way, I give it a because it obviously like it does not serve the narrative. It's just for the sake of having Vegeta back. Like, I love Vegeta too. He's probably my favorite character. But like, it's, it, you, it, it's still like it's fan service done wrong. Correct. I gave it a 6 out of 7 still. It has incredible action. The animation looks really good. Uh, despite the ass pulls, I knew they were coming, so it's funny to me. And um, I gave it a 4 out of 7. This answers your questions where you were always like, I know Goku's going to... He's not like just gone. Like it's First off, like you kept, you kept on saying this over and over again. You kept on saying, I know there's like Dragon Ball Super, and I know that... like I just know that Goku's not actually just written out of the show forever. And now you know why. More I else. did not think it would come this soon, though. 
I thought maybe at the end of Dragon Ball Z, there's like a big, you know, bow tie on top of everything. Not bow tie. And like, like hey, we got him back. Yeah. yeah. And like, it was going to be like a homecoming and all this. But no, it just happens in the middle of this arc where it isn't necessary. Why couldn't Gohan and Boo... Okay, you you if you wrote ahead, you just make Gohan's Gohan coming is supposed to be a big deal. Like he's back, he's trained, he's got this new power, and then let him fight Boo and just beat Boo, and then like end the Boo villain arc right there. Like, what do you think? Okay, if you had to write this arc, there are many analyses on YouTube and such about rewriting the Boo arc because it is obviously messy to anyone who has consumed it. I would like for you both to give me a succinct. Um, answer on how you would rewrite the boo arc ryan without of course any spoilers on how it actually ends and then um we can compare your guys's ideas to be clear i would not <laughs> you're I know, implying I know. that i would keep the ending the same so <laughs> which is not the case <laughs> i mine would be kind of what i've wanted this whole time and that i've kept predicting is like boo has so right near the start of the boo arc we find out that boo has like evil boo inside of him and I think it would have been really cool to play around with that. Like, I don't know if evil Boo is an emotion or like something, but I suspect Boo has all these other beings inside of him and I want them to like come out and I want it to be like our heroes, our heroes seven or something versus seven Boos. And it'd just be like a big Avengers fight. Um, that would be cool. It'd be different for Dragon Ball Z, which so far every arc has been um, the final fight is one V one and it lasts a while. And there's some really hype moments um, generally, you know what I'm saying? Um, it'd be cool, like especially since this seems like the final arc to be like give everybody a hype moment. And how does it end? Any With any deaths? Any triumph? Who gets the triumphant finish? I like? mean, it'd be cool if like Goku or Vegeta or Go well not Gohan like Goku or Vegeta die and are gone forever. Obviously that doesn't happen, but like I don't know. I like Gohan a lot. Um, I kind of ever since the Cell arc, kind of hoped that he would take over. And Goku would be given the room, or Gohan would be given the room by Goku as a character to do that. But yeah, they just he can't never get really away got the chance. It. No. Now, does the concept of more characters fusing excite you? Um, not really. Yeah, I haven't really bought fusion at all. I, in, in fusion's defense. I don't. I haven't liked. <laughs> Only been go tanks. I haven't liked the uh, results yet. So, but do you do you consider it like an interesting, like no. a fun, a fun concept for the Dragon Ball universe in the future? No, it's like when you're watching Star Wars, a general, like just generally a Star Wars thing, and you're like, that character is a toy, not that is not meant to like serve the narrative. And I feel like Go Tanks was designed to look cool in other media. God and damn it! I forgot my Go Tank statue again. Anyway. You scared me. I thought we weren't recording or something. <laughs> no, we are. Um, Goten screams like uh, merchandising first, and then character second. Everything in everything in Dragon Ball Z is merchandising, but yes, it can I still know, serve a purpose. Yeah, it serves a purpose of two characters becoming one stronger character. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you said I want to make these two characters one stronger character, you are right. Fusion does serve purpose. <laughs> Why does that need to happen in this story? Yeah, that's a really good point. It doesn't. That, um, Do you think it'll ever be done well in a satisfying way? Um, in a satisfying way that properly serves the narrative? No, not in this arc, at least. Maybe in Super or like a movie or something, but... Now, uh, one more thing before we get to Ryan was... Oh, yeah. So you... I was going to say, like, what do you predict now? So Go, Goku's presumably instant transmissioning to Earth with the Patara earrings. You see, um, you see a Gokan happening? Yeah, because Gohan is basically on the verge of death or going to be on the verge of death. And Do I think if you fuse, you can kind of like keep a person alive longer or, you know, boost them back up. Do you and, think, sorry, continue. And Pataro would let them, Pataro would theoretically allow you to fuse with a character who's not up to snuff. Correct, for one. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that assumption is correct. You don't have to be at the same power level because yeah. it's just like a, a more, as you assumed, it's a more yeah. streamlined. In Gohan's but, current state, he would not be able to fusion dance with anybody. Okay, now if they do fuse, do you think we'll get an ultimate like Gokan kind of thing with the black hair and the lightning, or do you think we'll have a Super Saiyan like fusion, or maybe a uh, black hair and yellow? We haven't seen Gohan do Super Saiyan three yet, mm. so maybe that that'll be his way to do it because Goku already has, and they wasted that, and they've wasted all the other Super Saiyan three, so why not just waste another? It, it won't be waste. I'd actually no, no. like to see Gohan Super Saiyan three. 
but I imagine it will be well. Every time we've seen Super Saiyan three, yeah, it's been a it's throwaway, been just like out yeah. of nowhere, and it does something cool for two minutes, and then it turns out it was not enough. In Go and Go Tanks's case, it really doesn't even do anything cool for ever. No, uh-uh. it's really just Goku. Um. Okay, Ryan, if you had to rewrite the Boo arc into a succinct and plot and a um and like plot focused and not very stupid arc what do you think that you would do how would well, how would you approach it you have this all right so it's the same setup you have boo he hatches out of the egg now what okay so we're going back that far oh man i mean you don't have to you don't have to write me a novel here but like what do you think is like a general approach that would have been a better approach so this is the better approach i think that for what there are reasons as to why it's structured the way it is outside the story right like yes whatever the editor says whatever merchandising we got to sell however much time we got to buy it is and it is confirmed that this w- this arc was not planned right. in advance right that so is known let's assume that that's that pr- uh, pressure still present so what i would do is i would keep a lot of it the same just understanding that not much could be changed in that regard uh what i think you need to do well i i don't want to spoil too much because i don't want to like don't. eliminate a potential possibility for wesley but what I think just you work should, with what we know. Yeah, I think what would be nice is in order you got all these different uh, strings, and in order to tie them all together, you got you only have one opportunity here at the end. I think it would be nice to see a almost like a three three v one on Majin Buu on the Big Bad, in that you have one guy who's fused, Go Tanks. You got one guy who's Super Saiyan three, Goku, and then you have Mystic Gohan. Yeah. So all three of them united together fighting. At once, I, I think could, that'd be pretty sweet. I could see that. That'd be very fun. I have a different approach. I have an approach of <clears throat> the setup is the same. Goku versus Majin Vegeta happens. Goku properly wins, um, be- because he just does. And um, Vegeta is kind of like out out for the count for a while, kind of like Gohan was. Boo can have his forms. He can have whatever. We can have sa- a similar plot up to this point. Um, possibly kill gohan before this whole ultimate gohan stuff happens just that way he's not in the picture and then basically what i want here is i think it would have been nice if it ended with vegeta's sacrifice and his sacrifice worked because i think it's a nice pin on his character really but it's it's too early it's too early in the saga for you know obviously for that to be the ending so push it back or whatever we all just want something that validates character what the characters have done and this arc has failed to do that so far um what are people's thoughts of, of this up to where we're at in the Boo saga? Like, uh, like are we are we dogging it or like is it just people no. like generally? There are, are like, people man. there are people that love it despite the flaws, but I think most I think most everybody acknowledges that it has some serious like narrative flaws. That's good, Dude, but it's still some people's favorite. They what's still the general really... reaction to Goku and Vegeta coming back? Because uh, I know that I know Dragon Ball Z has a lot of like hype. In it. Yeah, in no, it's. I don't think anyone really hype. considers it hype. Hell yeah! First good. off, it's not really approached in a hype manner. Second off, um, now you know hype when you see it. Everyone, yeah. I mean, it's it's a it is a very obvious ass pull. When the when the when Akira Toriyama wrote it, he knew it was an ass pull because he was pulling it out of his ass. Like there's no there's no secrets. It's not a question of whether or not you know what I mean. So like, don't get me wrong, I'm happy about it because I love watching Goku and Vegeta, but. I mean, is I'm it, excited it's to still, see them back, but it's like I it's don't, still garbage for the plot. Yeah, I think I think that's a general consensus. Good job, fandom. Ryan, any closing words? Uh, I know you don't love the Majin Buu arc. <laughs> that's no secret. What's your um? What is your arc ranking? We haven't talked to you in a minute. Um, it's uh, it's Majin Buu, Cell, Frieza, Saiyan. Oh, no, like no. that's the four. That's the four arcs. Oh, I'm not ranking. Okay. Them. <laughs> I was like, all right, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you don't know him. Uh. I would say uh, sell, sell, uh, saying sell Frieza. twice. Yes, <laughs> that good. That sorry, good. Go ahead. Actually, no. I really actually did enjoy sell a lot. Me too. But um, sorry, now I lost my train of thought. It was, sell. It was sell, Frieza, saying Boo. Yeah, I think that's the same as mine. That Saiyan's my second favorite, mm. but I know as we've talked about, I'm just remembering the good parts. With old. Frieza, I think a lot about the bad parts. With Saiyan, I think a lot about the good parts. You gotta, he gotta read the, the manga one day too to experience how it's supposed to be experienced. And the Saiyan arc, or the, the whole thing. Oh yeah, and no, I'll, definitely plan to. And honestly, it's quick. and honestly, like just I want to emphasize too. Yeah, I listed these in these order, 
but what you're not seeing are the gaps in between, yes. right? Exactly. So, like, for, for Frieza and the Saiyan arc specifically, they're actually really close together. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah. Obviously, I don't need to tell you how far apart Boo is, but... Yes. <laughs> uh, story-wise, when you read the manga, it gave the whole series a new perspective for me. I read from Chapter 1 of Dragon Ball all the way through to the end of Dragon Ball Z, which is really still just Dragon Ball when it comes to manga. How different is the Boo arc in manga? Any better? It's faster. Or any you know, when you, anytime you read anything, it's faster. Of course, yeah. it's still this. It has the exact same problems though, because there's virtually no filler in Majin Buu. So like, what you're seeing is what you get. Mm. So it still has the same exact problems, but but reading the whole series not only makes Dragon Ball much better, it makes Dragon Ball Z much better. The Saiyan arc is much better. The Frieza arc, as it's written in the manga, I think is probably the highest quality and the best when it comes to like the plot complexity and like uh characters and then you have super saiyan of course but cell is my favorite mostly you know for watching i do think kai is the best way to watch all any of it because um the dub is better which serves which completely alters your opinion as well Mm. and then the filler being cut um does make the saiyan arc one of the best ones it's pretty bad in dragon ball z because of the filler but and the bad well the dub whatever but anyway um am i ranking oh cell uh (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Probably Cell, Frieza, Saiyan, Majin Buu. I think same as Ryan. And Garlic Jr.? Oh, you don't have to say that that's the top. Yeah, Everyone knows true. that's the top. It's true. We watched those episodes. We watched seven episodes in a row at 1.5 and speed. And we did it. Yeah, 1.5 speed, I was about to say. Very important to remember that. When are we watching more movies? Like, There's a couple, actually, I, would, I wouldn't mind talking to you guys. So about I can finally know. tell you, by the way, there's one called Fusion Reborn that we need to watch. Yes, that's a, that's a pretty decent one. That's actually. considered the, to be the best one. Mo- by most people, I think. So these movies just come out like during the anime, or are they coming out? During, They're like, more dry like spots? promotional episodes that come out during the anime. I don't know. I don't know the release schedule. Like dry spots, maybe yeah. But um, they're more like promotions that are not canon, as you know, except for Bardock and Trunks. Those are both canon. Um, and um, Second Coming. Bardock was considered canon. It's not anymore. Anyway, point is, uh, Second Coming. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> The festival. What was it? What is the festival? Uh, I don't know, but you have to kill a freaking child or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I anyway, suspect Bio Broly will also be canon. We need to watch Bio Broly. That's I'm what ex- we need I'm to watch. excited. Do you want to know who the main... I'm just going to spoil it for you. Do you want to know who the main characters of Bio, Bio Broly are? Bio? Bio. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> it is Goten, Trunks, and Android 18. The unlikely trio. Uh, is that exciting? Goten Trunks. Isn't that kind of what it was in Second Coming? Second Coming was more Gohan is the main character. That's true. But who? But it's Android 18, Goten, and Trunks. 18's not there. Videl's there. Videl, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but Goten yeah. and Trunks are there, yeah, but that's yeah. pre-fusion. Pre- so. Yeah. Um, is, does Broly come back? And is he biotic? <laughs> All I can say is he is bio Broly. I'm not going to tell you anything more. It's too much, too good of a surprise for me to ruin. Is that picture you showed me the other day? Yeah. It's a highly detailed um, PNG of no, Broly. Let me, let me just show Ryan the picture. Okay, I was going to say, this no. is, well, we don't have cameras, so you don't actually get to see it. And well, I'll I, show Ryan. I can't. Draw a screenshot up. I can't. Uh, well, I could, but I don't actually know if I can. <laughs> let's see. This is this a kid's is, show, after all. This is Bio Broly. Damn, he's dummy thick. He yeah, is. <laughs> he is dummy thick. Uh, um, spoilers, but Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> anyway, anything else, guys? Nope. Um, Ryan, what movie? What movie would you like for us three to do? Would you like to do Fusion Reborn? That would be actually really cool. Actually, for Fusion Reborn, and I don't know if you ever did um, uh, Cooler, did you? We didn't. Yeah. Cooler would be fun. Maybe we should do that first. I feel like you should. I, I feel like that should have been done a long time ago. Which, but which is good because you guys didn't have filler to do that for. So right. You said during after during our second coming review, I think that we have missed a lot that we could watch. Not a lot. Movies. You were like, yeah. There's movies we should have watched by now, but we haven't. Cooler is definitely one of them. He, Cooler has two movies, and then um, Fusion Reborn. We had to wait till like now, whereabouts to watch. I want to watch a truly dog shit one. Oh, okay. Bio Bio yeah. Bio Broly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like I want to watch just a very very bad one. The Bio Broly, or really any of the first few, are pretty pretty unredeemable. I feel like the one with um, uh, the guy with the flute, flute, the flute. Um, oh, Lord Slug. No, it's not Lord Slug. That's the, the flute. Like oh, oh, Pickle you're thinking that's Fusion Super Reborn. Pickle. That's uh, Tapion. Not, is it Fusion Reborn? Yeah, he has the ocarina. That's not Fusion Reborn, is it? No, that's not Fusion no, Reborn. No, you're right. It's no, not. That's, that's um, Wrath, Wrath of the Dragon. Yeah. Or plan to eradicate the Saiyans. No, that's a different thing. That's a different thing. That was a that was made in like 2011, I think. 
or remade. There's a lot of fan theories with that's how. I, I think, think it's Wrath of the Dragon, Dragon, which that one I think we can watch now. You should be able to, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing. The only thing it has Super Saiyan three in that's it. That's it. Yeah. Goku. So, yeah, I feel like we. I mean, well, I don't know. I guess I don't know. there's like thirty episodes left, but. I don't think at this point there's really any that we can't watch, other than obviously the super movies. Yeah, and Kakarot, uh, the new gen version of it comes out January twenty third, twenty twenty three, which is perfect. You'll, wait, will you be if, able to? If we don't miss any episodes, we'll be done with Dragon Ball Z uh, at the end of December. Really? So I'll That's be able so exciting. To play Kakarot. I can't wait for perfect you to play time. it. You got to get the platinum because I got it. Yeah, I will. Okay. It took seventy hours. <laughs> I hope I like it a lot. You won't. <laughs> no, you'll like it a lot. It's just not like a perfect game. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a really long episode. Uh, to those who stuck it out to the end and got to see Ryan, not actually see him, but like in a meta kind of metaphysical kind of way. Is that, does that make sense? No. All right. <laughs> uh, thanks for sticking it out. Thanks for watching episode 82 of Dragon Ball Speak. Thanks to our Patreon supporters. And thanks for coming back next Saturday to watch another. Ryan, say your goodbyes. Salutations. And Wesley. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.